All right, hey guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the difference between water pills and Diarex. So we're going to compare Diarex over-the-counter, so over-the-counter supplements for water retention and bloating, and then compare it to Sundown Naturals non-GMO water pills, okay? So there we go. That's a better view. So here recently I've had quite an issue with water retention and this can happen to a lot of people, especially women around their period and stuff like that, you know, PMS. And even after your period, you can definitely experience bloat, but you can experience bloat from food indiscretions, from all kinds of different things, hormone fluctuation. So I have just recently started using a little bit of help to help me release some of the extra water in my body so it has helped me cut down on a good solid two pounds of body weight but I know I'm still holding on to quite a bit of water weight as well so you do want to talk to your doctor if you're going to try something like this um you know and you want to be careful and even like the over-the-counter stuff just don't use more than the recommended dose because it can be very dangerous I do want to note that I'm not a doctor and this is just my own experience but if you take too many of these, you can put yourself in a potentially dangerous, deadly situation. So, and the same goes for laxatives. You know, people that kind of get like the extreme idea, like they want to take too much. Because if your body gets too dehydrated and your electrolytes get too out of balance, like it can in fact actually kill you. So, um, you really want to be careful and never take more than the recommended dose. Okay, so... Long story short, so at first I started taking Diarex because it was the only thing I could get my hands on and until I had a new product to come in, but I was desperate for some relief. I was really bloated and my stomach and even my legs were kind of swollen, so, um, so I started using the Diarex and it sort of started working. I could feel it working pretty much right away, but then the next day, or about two days later, my Sundown Natural Water Pills came in. And they have some other brands as well. So I started taking that instead. And I came to find out that these actually work better than the over-the-counter Diarex. So the thing about the Diarex too is it also has the artificial colors in it. It's got like the um, blue number one, which is not very good blue number one has been linked to cancer and rodents many times over so it's just not something you know things like polyethylene glycol you know it's just not stuff you really want to be consuming on a regular basis so and you know i'm guilty of every now and then you know i take stuff that has a little bit of artificial color or whatever in it you know yes i do that occasionally but for the most part i try to stick to natural i try to stick to what I know is going to be better for the body. So, and as long as you stay consistent and do the best you can, that's what matters. So, this particular one, it came with a whole lot more pills in it. And I feel like it was a better value for my money, but it also has all these other things in it. So, the main ingredient is potassium, which helps with your fluid balance. Okay, so then we've also got asparagus, juniper, parsley, uva ursi, alfalfa, and buchu. Okay? So all of those things are also good for a lot of other things, help support the immune system, help with your metabolism, help with so many different things that are good for your body. So, you know, when you're using a supplement like this, you're just getting so much more for your money and it's so much better for your body than taking this pill that's going to have this artificial color. It's not going to do anything beneficial for your body other than, you know, it will help you relieve some of the fluid, but... And so, this, the main ingredient is Pamabrom. Okay, Pamabrom. And so, this is also in Pamprin. And I also was taking Pamprin with the Diarex, not at the same time. But I was kind of experimenting with both for a day or two. And the Pamprin, I really didn't like. I don't know why, but it just, the Pamprin had like an, um, oh, what do you call it? Antihistamine in it, along with the Pamabrom. And I'm like... Why the heck does it have an antihistamine? Because an antihistamine will make you drowsy. And when you're on your period or whatever, you know, chances are you're not looking to be knocked out. Um, you're looking to have more energy, you know, because you might be tired. You might be feeling kind of run down. And so I just thought it was really strange that Pamperin 
had an antihistamine in it. So I'll have to look more into that, but I was not happy with Pamperin and I don't have that in this video, but I don't recommend it. So, um, and Diarex. I think, you know, if you're really severely bloated and you don't have anything else, I think something like this is fine. But um, if you can help it, this was just night and day in comparison and so much better. And, you know, again, this is non-GMO and something that is going to be so much better for your body and support your body as a whole and aim more towards fixing the problem than just a very temporary solution. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.